Hi guys, it's Alexander Snoker. This is Search a Cigar, my new best friend. Why new? No, since last year. Yeah. Or even the year before. Or even and five years before. <laughs> we've known each other three, three years. Ah, uh, three years, but two uh, months. At first, uh, a pack swap of a relationship. And then a bit deeper. But still best friends. Well, what he does mean by deeper <laughs> is not what you think, actually. <laughs> And we're going to do something a bit different today. We're going to make a... It's going to be a sort of Q&A, but we haven't planned... Sorry, you got smoke and Meyer. But it's going to be sort of a freestyle one. I still don't know what I'm going to say, but... Rob, how old are you? I'm 40. Born on the 6th of April, 1976. You look a, a tad older than 40, don't you? <laughs> My nose is just growing a little bit. Like Pinocchio? How many, okay. How many teeth have you still got? Hmm? How many teeth have you still have? The original ones? I have... How many in a set? I suppose you touch a few. Yeah, but how many did you get left from the oh. original ones? Yeah, we don't know that type of thing about him. I've got a dark secret. I wear five or four teeth. Five? Yeah. So you got 37 teeth. Which one's a pulse? This one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. That one. Okay. And then the cup there and there. I got... I've got a morbid fear of dentists. I've also got a morbid fear of doctors. You got 31 teeth. But they're all original. Uh, they're all in great shape. And, uh, well, and uh, another one still has to, no, it's the, this one is still the, how do you call them? Wisdom teeth? Wisdom teeth. Yeah. I've still got still my have, wisdom teeth. Uh, I got three of them and uh, they're causing kind of little trouble, but I also fear the dances and problem. I'm going at the end of the month and I still don't know if it, I'm going to have to pull them up, out, up, out, down. Last time I went to the dentist, I had to be put down. <laughs> Not put down, but... Put into happy state. Okay. Uh, sedating drugs. Action. They call it some sort of sedation. You think you're on a different planet. It works. Wonderful. Um, Your time to ask a question. Okay. But I'm free not to, to answer it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a question. You're out of my camera. Okay. I'm trying to think of a question. Stand up. And... A you know, big shout out for the Beatles, and everybody say, I don't like the Beatles. No, I'm not, I can't say it. Okay. Okay, for the Hello. <laughs> How long have you been wearing, had to wear glasses? Uh, I and, think since I'm. And would you ever consider contact lenses? Uh, I've never truly con uh, considered contact lenses. Uh, because I don't mind wearing glasses and uh, well and I fear eye infections of con uh, contact lenses for example and uh, yeah and, and the trouble having to pull, pull them out uh, at for the night and things like that but I'm wearing glasses well it was at school because I couldn't see the blackboard uh, in the Latin class and uh, had always bad notes after that I had better notes still under <laughs> middle of the road but I think I was 12 12 but at first they were mild I was not obliged to to wear them all the time since when are you wearing okay. those glasses or contact lenses before I've never worn contact lenses and I'm going to do something really personal <laughs> about me oh. guys They'll be I've got judge. a confession to make I've been wearing glasses since I was 18 but you never show them in the first videos. I know I didn't. I'm so famous back. <laughs> when I was reading like details, I used to put this thing over there in extra big like font twenty four. <laughs> so guys, yes, I've been wearing glasses all through my YouTube channel, but I was too vain to wear them. And for some reasons, it's showing. I've never considered wearing contact lenses. Well, that's, <laughs> that's quite a news story. Breaking news is going to be on CNN tonight. A 
of course that stuff is helping. I'm drinking some wash time a bit, uh, beer and uh, he's drinking this, which is a, a, a local beer again. Sorry, mm -hmm. I'm forgetting the, the other oh, one. I keep forgetting, I mean, not in that. Can't wait. It's 6.5 percent. Kind of a, a pale ale. Okay. Have you got any phobias? Uh, uh, things need to be clean. Hmm. I fear stepping in a turd while walking. <laughs> I think you've seen that quite a bit. So I got a torch. My torch. <laughs> a torch that is only working out for the time. Where is it now? I hate it. I hate it because it's not working, but the, the, the one I had before was working much better, but it, it fell on the floor once and never wanted to, to work again, but yeah, this is pretty much what I use. Your church process. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And dog owners of Belgium, France, clear up your pets or mutts poo and shit. <laughs> Englishmen are not... Yeah, you know, they also have to do it, but generally I've seen either they have less uh, animals or they, they, they pick up the shit. They generally pick it up. They get found on by the dog owners. And then they cook it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the, the, British, <laughs> the British food is so famous around the world. <laughs> Your question. <laughs> My question now. Yeah. Rob. Why are you always wearing square uh, shirts? Shirts with squares. Or not always, but most of the time. Why never a plain shirt? Not that I'm wearing one, but... Because I'm not a plain person, I'm an interesting person. <laughs> the only thing we like plain is... I'm just a all square cigarettes. person, that's what I wear. We like all cigarettes plain, but that's <laughs> the only thing. And you're getting loads of plain t-shirts to match the plain packaging that's unfortunately going to happen next year. So perhaps next year I'll get into plain shirts as well. <laughs> no shirt at all. You've did that already. <laughs> I've done a shirt. Okay, next question. Would you ever do a shirt? Where, where are you gonna make, are you going to make a fully <laughs> naked video for your 5,000 subscriber? <laughs> done sorry, already. This. I know he has done some there weird underpants videos. 2012, when this channel became a more serious review channel, I launched Just Smoking by RJ. If you type it in the description... <laughs> You're going to see all the weird stuff. <laughs> like There's 20 videos there, which I can't delete because I've got my bloody <laughs> password. <laughs> and it's me smoking in my underwear. So just smoking by RJ, I said this is going to be totally honest. <laughs> At least he had underwear and they were clean. And you're not going to type that in either after this. I'm done already. <laughs> you know, by mistake, I was like, man, it's the same guy. Why is he wearing his... his but I said this is going to be totally honest. I know honest. him, but generally he's fully clothed. <laughs> so this, in the last two, five minutes or eight minutes, you learned... Very false teeth, my <laughs> vanity fear, <laughs> and just smoking by RJ. Also, how many teeth I got, and I don't know why I wear glasses, and then I don't <laughs> like to step in turds. But if you like to step in turds, please leave a comment because your story is very interesting. <laughs> and it's smelly. <laughs> and shitty. <laughs> and dirty, and whatever you got. <laughs> We're just having a very good time, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trying to out the question. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> Who had the fucking idea to do this? You. <laughs> 14 people, it's me. <laughs> Okay. If you could go on a date with any or which famous person? That's an interesting question. There's often that. 
or find like sexy smoking or whatever like actress or we just watched Casablanca with that incredibly hot scene. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, who I would date or who I would have a smoke with? Okay, both. <laughs> both. Well, I think Lauren Bacall in her twenties was pretty nice. About oh, mm -hmm. you know, right now I can't think of any. It would be girls first. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, not animals. <laughs> no, not things like that. I'll, at the moment, I'm not that interested in men. I mean, uh, to each they their own. To <laughs> each their own. To each their own. But uh, but I'd like to have a smoke with a, uh, you know, Humphrey Bogart, just yeah, that's all possible. Yeah. I'd like to have a smoke with Driver Rob 73, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That guy is just awesome. Incredible. Yeah. Linking it to Spitzer. I'd like to have another smoke <laughs> with RG Smoker, but that, that can happen, so sometimes your dream come true. Yeah. Okay. You'll go to me. <laughs> and then the last question for you. Uh, well, do you like that beer? Are there any of the beers I had brought last year that you didn't like? That you remember at least? I think you gave me the, like a pink, was it a pink or a, a pink flavoured one? You showed me in the shop today. Uh, a kick? Yeah. Yes, it's a cherry beer, a traditional Belgian thing also. I'll, Not I'll so keen on those one? One of the flavours I didn't like and it, I thought I liked the cherry, Peach. But there was peach one. Yeah, peach one that I wasn't that keen on. Okay, I don't no, like... no, no problem. Oh, uh, well, um, I used to like it, but now they're um, replacing some of the sugar with, um, I mean, how do you call them with its sweeteners, artificial sweeteners, and uh, the taste has changed quite a bit, in my opinion, so uh, that that could be it, or just a peach flavor for me, to each their own. And one beer I gave away. Bush beer. Yeah. The twelve, the bush, twelve percent. Twelve percent. I bought another one. What am I, I don't so want to what, try, but I felt so sorry for my brother because my brother's nickname, because when he grew up in school, he had bushy hair. Is that to here for his Afro style? That was a white guy. Different, different fathers, but that's a different story. And I had to give bush beer for him, and he loves his strong beer, Belgian beer. And but he, won he only wanted a 6% or 7% beer. No, but right. at that time he did want to try the bush because it was 12% and I gave it for his birthday. Okay, so I'm, I'm so looking to... forward to that 12% one you gave yeah, me. Yeah, it's a strong one. one. It's a strong one. Well, I um, think that's the end of the video if we don't want to make... And unless you want to carry on. Oh, what? Last... Is it apart from Spitfire? Did you enjoy it or? All the beer I gave you last time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bit fire. There's one. Lovely beer bottle, but. Yes, there is one. I apologise in advance to any people, uh, all the people loving that beer, because they are probably, to each their own, I say it again. But the Spitfire Kentish Ale. The bottle was super nice, but the beer, it was like on the edge of being good. It was not to my taste, was it? It, uh, so I said, please, no, not that one. And I, and I made, you know, I, I gave some to my mother. I was the same bottle because it's a, all, all the, the English beers are, you know, they are weak generally, but they always sell them in the double quantity that we generally have here. So I, I put two glasses and emptied the bottle. And those two glasses, uh, obviously, because, uh, you know, you have to put them in the glasses because if you put them you know, around the bottle, mm. around the glass, it's not going to go in. And um, uh, she didn't like it at all, and she said, is he trying to kill me <laughs> <laughs> But I bought you about 25 and only yeah, one and, bag. Yeah, and I haven't, and I haven't, yeah. And this time, you've got a few more. Yeah, and I will, <laughs> I will try to, you know, show sometimes in the video and say, uh, well, not make beer reviews because uh, I don't want to get involved in that, but say, well, you know, I was drinking this the other day and this was pretty good. I'll probably say that. Are we okay for this one? I'm, I'm trying to think of another question. It's already 50 minutes in. Okay. Better have enough now for beer. Good job. Are oh, you run out? <laughs> yeah, run out. <laughs> Good thing.
So, last question for today. Okay. Sure, sure. Pardon? Last question. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's your last little... question. I thought you were going to ask another question. Okay. It's your turn now. I've asked four questions. Okay. If I was a plastic surgeon and you could have any part of you changed, what would you change? <laughs> this is totally random. It's just, <laughs> I know what I'd say. Ah, uh, wait. But got, there's actually a long list. Wait. <laughs> there's wait. a long list. Wait. Well, I'm quite happy with your questions. Is my dig big enough? No. I, I'm, I'm happy with its size. It's nothing tremendously enormous. But I'm six foot three and it's the right size compared to, to the, the, the height. So that you know, but otherwise I maybe be a little bit skinnier. Because, you know, we ate a lot this time, mm -hmm. the last three days. And he has to, pa to put a few pounds on him. More, kilos. Yeah, a few <laughs> kilos or pounds or whatever. And uh, I'm the one who did it. <laughs> so I put <laughs> probably an extra pound or two. Uh, during the, the last week, I ate a lot on, on Wednesday, that was before you came, and Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, and tomorrow is going to be on jet. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Unless you want to ask the same question back to me. Yeah, I'll ask you the same. W yeah, which body part would you change? Okay. Thank you, God. Thank you, my mum. Thank you, my dad, whoever he is. I've never met my dad, but that's a different story. My body, I wish I was a little bit fatter. Especially right now. I, I wish I could make <laughs> it, like a grease transfusion for him. Like give him I could give him uh, 20 pounds, 10 kilos. 10 kilos would be very nice, thank you. 20, even better. <laughs> but I'd change my ball patch. Because I, Your what? My ball patch. Okay, he's, get, he's coming, he's, he's he's turning he's into a, a monk. Does that? <laughs> he's turning into a monk already. Sometimes he's gonna make Thank some you. beer at the abbey right there. My mu my brother, both brothers. At least in the coming treatment, it's not have much to lose <laughs> right there. <laughs> and I'm gonna lose it all over the next few weeks. Yeah, not to all people, but we'll see anyway. <laughs> I don't want to bring that up. But <laughs> you brought up something. That's how I want a hair transplant. So, please guys, subscribe down there. Donate some money so Arthur can get head transplant <laughs> in April next year when it's all over. And I'm 100% fit and 100% better looking with a full head of hair. <laughs> yeah, I won't give you mine because, you know, some, some yeah, guy said that... Yeah, you're seed in there. <laughs> yeah, some guy said it, it's, it's getting a little bit reset. I haven't noticed that, so someday I might go completely bald. We'll see you then, yeah. But bald men are attractive, you know. <laughs> After some time, they put a, a nice jumper. They look like dicks. Well, especially after a few beers. <laughs> no, after a few beers, they act like dicks. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think that, that's about uh, it. Yeah, that's about it. Eighteen, nineteen minutes. <laughs> yeah, it was going to be a good one if you want to watch. This, this is a chill out video. Give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Whatever. Scott down there. Yeah. And Scott down there. To the other guys. Yeah, channel. yeah, yeah. What's your name again? Or, or, or to the guys' channel if you haven't. I mean, you, you can be it can be your first time on YouTube uh, watching you know, just Smoker or, or me, and you know you want to subscribe. Do you yeah, have more fun videos? this coming? video will get a hundred thousand views. My yeah, record is thirty thousand on a honey rose herbal cigarette, which is absolutely disgusting. Thank you, Mark. Pop, pop, oh, sorry, Mark P. I mustn't say it's my, my record at the moment uh, is about the Marlboro Ice, ice Blast that you, mm. you sent a, a while back. It was, it was one of the very first reviews. It's, been, it's close to 6,000, I think. But, but, it's, but probably, the, the, anybody wants the, to try the Honey Rose Herbal cigarette? <laughs> don't. They should carry a health warning. <laughs> yeah, don't. They make them sick. <laughs> Only try this if you want to go back to regular <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And after the day keeps the doctor away. Yeah. As long as you aim well. Yeah, that's a trick. 
Stay lit, guys. Yep. And, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop this video now.